Hello all and welcome back. So first I'm saying ignore the background. V and Brian are playing a game and I mean it's not loud but the house is quiet so you can hear it a lot more. And two, today we are going to make something called a chopped cheese. Never had it. Um, I guess I found out about it because I um, told somebody I was trying or I was going to go try a restaurant out here called the Vegan Bodega. Unfortunately, I still haven't tried them because they were closed when I took that long, took that long drive out to Hartford. But I'm still going to try them. They're on my to-do list. Sorry. But they told me of something. Um, Alright, so they told me about an uh, item that they, I guess, I guess they have it out there. I've never heard of it. And somebody told me that I guess they're like big in New York and all the bodegas. So, no, I've never heard of it, but I figured, why not? So, I googled it and literally since I've, since this person mentioned it, never stopped hearing about it. I found a recipe for it. So, we're going to try this person's recipe. Um... Yeah. Um, also, too, little history. When I was doing my research on finding how much it was, because also or what it was, I also too, I guess, when I went to the vegan deal, I seen that they had one who was gonna try it there. But once I seen what it qualifies for, I figured I can make it myself, which is what we're gonna do. And then when I looked up the recipe online, I I would looked up the well. Sorry keep losing my chain of thought but when I looked up the recipe online I realized I kind of made this before this is kind of how I make my cheesy meat but I would add onions and peppers or not onions and peppers but peppers and mushrooms and I guess California their chopped cheese they add peppers and mushrooms who would have known but um so yeah I've definitely made my regular meat before like this but I guess they do it differently and they make it into a sandwich in the bodega. So let's get started. I already started with my chopped cheese. Uh, the recipe that I followed, qual um, yeah. the recipe that I follows asks for a Spanish onion because I guess it has more flavor. Don't have a Spanish onion. Couldn't find one at my grocery store. So what I bought was I have two regular onions and a purple onion. I mean a red onion. Why they call it red when it's purple? I don't know. So we got that. And then I have sofrito. I should have used or I should have made my own. I felt like it would probably taste better if I made my own. Didn't have the time. Eventually I'll make my own again and show you guys a new way to making it. As of right now, we're using a store board. Whatever. So let's get to it. Are we still staring at the pot? Okay. So they put a lot. Hopefully I didn't put too much. So we're going to give it a few minutes, let our pot get, our, our oil get hot, then we're going to add the onions and the garlic. So I'll be back. I guess traditionally too, it's um, made on a flat grill. I didn't want to whip out the flat grill. And I know I cut again, ow, my onions too big, but they're going to slip down. So while we're gonna let we cook with the onions, we're gonna cook with our sofrito. I like the um green one better. I just feel like the green one has more flavor than the red one. And I feel like if you make it yourself, it has a whole lot more flavor. So as this is getting hot, I can put the fresh garlic in there too. Let this cook down. I got it on high. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season the onions and the garlic this way. It can absorb all the um the oil can have all the flavor. And then when I put in the meat, I'm 
it can absorb the flavor too. The meat we're gonna use is Impossible on um, the burger patties, which is I'm kind of happy that I did buy because I guess with this they used the um. I guess with this they used hamburger meat. That's why they say chop because they chopped the onions and chopped the hamburger meat into it. Um, I bought the Impossible meat patties a while back because my supermarket only had the ground meat of the Beyond Burger, and I already told you guys I'm not a big fan of the Beyond the Burger, so I bought the Impossible patties, spent a little extra on it just so I didn't have to buy the Beyond. So we're just going to let this cook down for a little bit. Oh, I'm going to show you guys me seasoning it, so hold on. Alright, so... Double. I'll probably put a little bit more when I add my meat. Matter of fact, let me go get the meat now. It's the meat we're using. Oh, it's the meat we're using. I wish you can smell what I smell. And I guess this gives you the big um, hamburgers that I got gives you six patties instead of the two normal ones that they sell out there. So we're just going to throw this out for while that's in there. Put some more on global. Every day with the bagel seasoning or everyday seasoning. I have another one that's called everything but the bagel seasoning. That's why I keep mixing the two up. So I apologize. I definitely think I put so much sofrito and too much oil. So if you made this before, don't laugh at me. All right. But I guess this sandwich is supposed to be greasy. And then once this cooks down just a little bit more, we're supposed to take our bread and toast it in the juices so it absorbs the flavor. I think they do that with the flat bro. Definitely should have made them smaller. This is why I don't like cooking while I'm hungry. Oh, good thing I like onions. Alright, so I'm going to let this cook down just a little bit more and then I will be back. Well, not a little bit more. Well, yeah, I'm going to let it cook down a little bit more before I show you what I'm doing. Because as you see, my hamburger is soft. So, And then it lets this absorbs the flavors. if I make this again we're definitely gonna make our onions smaller just when they sweat out they shrink anyway but we'll make our onions smaller and make sure our hamburgers are not frozen but this is a really quick and easy meal so while my hamburgers are cooking what I'm gonna do is attempt to toast my bread Definitely made them too big. But you see how a lot of them shrunk down, right? Alright, let's go get our bread. And as you see in the corner, I definitely did throw another patty in there. Felt like it wasn't enough. With my onions anyway being so big. So we're just going to toast it for a little bit. Let it absorb that flavor, and then in a few minutes, I'm going to add my cheese. You know what I... I think 
think if I had a flat girl, this would be better. Oh, it's definitely getting toasted. So we just put that there. Alright, so we just did that one and then the other two I'm gonna wait until I'm done. Alright, so it would have been done if I didn't throw this last one in there, so. And I'm gonna do that fry the last two when they're done done. Or almost done done anyway. Right. So I'll be back with this last patty breakdown and then we're gonna add our cheese. We're using Cheo Life or Cheo slices of cheese. Oh no, I lied. Field roast plant based cheese and it's called Cheo tofu cheese. Try this slice before. It's actually, um, it's okay, it's not bad at all. It's pretty good. It does melt pretty nice. Stuck together. Sorry, I'm literally struggling trying to peel the cheese apart. My freezer, I guess, is too high. As many times as I loaded it, it my refrigerator freezes my stuff. I guess it's good because it lasts longer, but. Now I'm actually going to add just a little bit more garlic powder too because with all the onions, that's all the taste I'm getting. It's supposed to be cheesy, so... only cheese that they had besides Daya. So I hope, I really hope this melts. Alright, so I'm actually going to lower the heat. Or I'm actually going to cover it. And let this cheese melt down. And I'm going to put the rest of the package in there because I don't like how it's melting. That's how it looks, monkey with the cheese. Oh. So now that it's done, we are gonna taste it. So traditionally, they put lettuce and tomatoes on theirs. I didn't buy any lettuce and tomatoes because I don't normally eat it and I didn't want to go to the waste. So I didn't buy the lettuce and tomatoes. They put, besides the lettuce and tomatoes, the mayonnaise and the ketchup. So, I'm going to put mayonnaise on my bread, bread now and ketchup. You don't need to see that. But I'm going to assemble my sandwiches and we're going to try it. For anyone that doesn't believe me, that's the mayonnaise I'm using. It tastes just like real mayonnaise. Don't believe me? Ask my dad. He legit switched to this mayonnaise. We had an argue. Well, disagreement because he didn't believe that this wasn't V or 
regular mayonnaise wasn't vegan. Told him, listen, just buy this one for me now. He tried it, couldn't tell the difference. Now he buys this one for himself. It tastes just like mayonnaise. I'm almost done, almost done assembling my sandwich. I'll be right back. Now for the taste. I've been picking at it, I'm not gonna lie. And I did overstuff my hoagies. Now, like I said, the original or traditionally, they put tomatoes or lettuce and tomatoes in here, which I should have because it would have added a fresh crunch to it. And I didn't toast my bread right away or correctly, but that's how it looks. I overstuffed it. Mm. Could do without the ketchup. Definitely could have used it for the lettuce and tomatoes. I'm also gonna get these two braids and shit. And let me get these two braids, I'm gonna call you back. No. I definitely should have cut my onions smaller. Because yes, I sir. hold on. Yes. Now. I definitely should have cut my onion smaller, but it's really cheesy. It's really good. If I make it again, I'm definitely going to try with the lettuce and tomatoes because I think it could have um gave it the crunch that it needed. And I'm going to toast my bread in the oven because me trying to toast it on that pan didn't work for me. And overall, that's really good. And the cheese I used melted really nicely. And that's really good, and I'm kind of upset that I've never tried it before. But for my first time, I did great. So I have to finish this before it gets cold and loses all its flavor. So, oh, let's see how V like did hers. Did you like it? Honestly, was it too much oniony for you? No, it was fine. V liked it. She said it didn't taste like too much onions and she fucked it up but now she laying down and watching her movie. So I did good. Because you were able to taste the cheese like nothing. No negative comment at all. It's not like you not to have a negative comment. Not one. I did good. She tired. But she enjoyed it. So that always works for me. Well, as always, thank you for tuning in with me on Really Picky Vegan. And if you haven't already, please like, follow, subscribe, hit the bell, and share my page with your friends because you never know who's truly interested on what vegans can eat besides a salad. And trust me, there's a lot out there. A lot out there. Some of the stuff surprises me sometimes. Well, sorry. Till next time, guys. Bye. Oh, no, wait. My chocolate milk. Do you see this? This chocolate milk is so good, it legit needs a review all on its own. But, 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 here's the problem. It's so good. Do you see this? I always finish it in one sip. Maybe two. But it never lasts as long, so I'm never able to do the video. So maybe next time I buy it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have everybody try it. Just so we can get everybody's review. Because every time I've bought in this, I've, like I said, could never finish it or never save it to finish it. Everyone that I've had try this or tried it accidentally, one didn't know it was vegan. Said it tastes better than regular chocolate milk and actually started buying it themselves. <sighs> it is nice. Well, of course, it's nice and cold. But no, it is creamy. It is chocolatey. And it tastes really good. You can't say, I think it tastes the almond. A little bit but you really can't taste almond milk like this is probably the best chocolate milk that I've ever had and it don't last long 
don't want this long at all because I finished it in the sitting. And then there's what it says on the side. It says no MSG, no egg, no soy. See? Oh, I almost missed my mouth. That would have been bad. So when you see this in your supermarket, buy it and try it. And in the comments, let me know what you think. If you had it before, definitely let me know what you think. And if you're one of my friends, buy it and keep it in the fridge for me. Well, now, until next time, you guys. Bye. I can't wait to finish eating my sandwich. Bye. Oh, and my sandwich definitely gives me sloppy Joe vibes, but with cheese instead of tomato sauce. So the cheesy slow, a cheesy Joe's, um, see, it's really cheesy. Well, I did put a whole pack of cheese, but you guys definitely should try this. Is it my recipe or somebody else's? I'm definitely going to try it again.